here i'm gonna be very quick and give you a slight hint or as well as as a warning that what you should be taking care of once you use river pod because it can cause a lot of time waste so i'm going to help you guys anyway so let's see our condition well over here i have this uh, controller which is called home index controller and we created a notified provider and over here we are returning an int and we have this two methods increment and decrement with increment we are increasing the current value of this int variable which is also actually a state variable and over here we are decreasing and we are going to call these two methods from our ui and as we call we do expect when you call this one the value to be increased and when you call this one the value to be decreased and we print them on the our console okay well well that doesn't look very fancy or any problem right but anyway now go ahead and let's take a look so here we do have our provider and uh, actually we are getting the provider using refted watch even though we are not using any value over here directly and for now you'll see that we have this uh, increment method which we are calling and decrement method now let's go ahead and check on the ui uh, sorry on the console so as i clicked on this the value increases and if i uh, click on this button the value decrease well there is nothing fancy and it's old traditional like counter app but what's the catch about it now here earlier you see that this is something that i'm not using directly right but one can do like this say for example you can say var count because it returns us an integer so what we could do we can grab that value and put it here count dot to string all right so let's go ahead and use it and i'm going to do hot reload and hopefully well it didn't work so i'm going to do it from here and we see the value increases and we see it on the ui and still nothing fancy okay now here's this one thing what about i just want to observe the value when i click on this i want to observe the value so that i can use it later somewhere in my app so what i'm going to do i'm going to comment this out and over here as well i'm going to remove this string here we say test all right okay all right now do hot reload and let's see what happens now try to go ahead and increase the value you see it's always one try to decrease the value it's always minus one so what's going to happen over here once you don't use this ref dot watch even though you are trying to increase or decrease the value nothing happens all it does is the original state what is zero minus one remember this state variable refers to the value over here so zero minus one one zero minus one minus one so that's what we see when we click on this value uh, on these buttons actually so over here once again let me remove this and do hot reload okay and uh, let's try it okay so here you see that the value increases but the point i'm trying to make this is i'm not using at all okay i'm not using so why should i be just uh, keep it open over here as a sentence but i don't see the necessity of putting it here because i'm not doing anything with this all i was trying to do is increasing and decreasing the state value but looks like if you comment it out this uh state increasing value doesn't work at all okay it always give you either plus one or minus one so this is something that i wanted to warn you guys like if you do use a river pod for state management then you have to get the provider using ref that watch regardless you use it on your ui or not you have to use it otherwise increment decrement or any kind of state related work is not going to work okay and leave your comment below about this that what i'm what i said about it or whether you have encountered the same issue or not. Thank you.